Alright, what's going on guys? This is Sam here with Warbunner Productions. And before we get into today's video, I just had a quick question to ask you guys. So, I have this large collection of vintage model trains I got last year for my birthday. And I really have not had anything to do with them. They've just kind of been sitting around not doing much. But I wanted to know, since this video is about model trains, if you guys maybe wanted to see that collection, maybe wanted me to do a little video or something over it. If you do, just let me know down in the comments below. If you guys want that, I'd be more than happy to show it to you guys. But with that out of the way, I hope you enjoy today's video. Hey guys, Sam from Warbond Productions here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Ed Birch train show. The first train show I had been into in over a year and a half. This show was a lot larger compared to the last time it was held, and it was held at the Oklahoma City Fairgrounds in the Centennial Building. I hope you guys enjoy some of the footage I managed to get here at the show. While I did not get that much time to go out and rail fan, I did manage to catch one train over the weekend, this northbound Q train.
Alright, so I'm back home now, and uh, before I show you guys what I got at the train show, I figured I'd uh, let you take a look a little around, a little look around my small studio here. It's not much, it's just my computer, my microphone, my desk and all that. But it's enough for right now to kind of do what I want. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is actually the one thing I got for free at the show. And it's this uh, Model Railroader magazine from, yeah, August 2007. So this is kind of an old one. But this uh, layout, this club, was uh, giving away free magazines, and so I took one. Uh, I didn't really have any reason to pick this one in particular. I just kind of picked up one that I saw. And I really like it. Um, one of my favorite parts about looking through these old magazines was looking at the catalogs and stuff, little product listings in here, because it was always fun to just look at all the different models and all that. I always enjoyed doing that, looking through these at all the models they were selling. Because, you know, it would vary from magazine to magazine. And I think some of those magazines have those big catalogs with, like, different brand names and stuff on them. And I really enjoyed looking at those, so this just kind of brought back some memories for me. And yeah, I'm very happy that I got it. Alright, the next thing I got was a DVD. It is the Santa Fe Fort Worth Subdivision Part 1 from Gainesville to Fort Worth. And I like, uh, this DVD is made by a guy named on the back here. His name is, uh... Right here, Steve Allen Goen. I hope I'm not butchering that. But I love his DVDs. In fact, I have two other ones that I'll show you. Um, it's these two right here. Uh, obviously, because these are on the subdivision that I rail paint all the time. But what I like about these is just the vintage feel to them. Because these were taken back in the 90s. And they have a nice vintage feel to them. And um, I figured we'll go ahead and try uh, another one. I haven't had a chance to watch it just yet, but knowing how his DVDs normally are, uh, you know, like I said, they got that nice vintage feel to them. They look vintage from like the 90s. And uh, even his, some of his, some of his uh, more recent DVDs look like that too. And I really appreciate about this guy. He's definitely uh, one of my favorites. All right, the next thing we'll be taking a look at are some containers that I bought for my 40 foot well car. So we have this one here, it's made by Walters. And I just kind of chose this one because it kind of, because of the color scheme on it. That looked kind of cool. And then I decided to go ahead and buy two of the little kits that they offer. Uh, I bought this one. And then the main reason I bought the kits was mostly for this one. So I like the way this one looks. It's Santa Fe, as you can see right there. I love anything Santa Fe. So, and that's another reason why I got that DVD over there and the other two. Uh, the, these two DVDs, go back to DVD real quick. I didn't get these at the show. I got these at a previous show. But I figured since they're made by the same guy and they kind of go along with my point, I talked about them. So that's all the stuff that aren't trains. Well, actually, no, it's not, but we'll talk about the other two in a second. All right, now we're going to actually move on into the train stuff, and I'm going to take a look at some uh, freight cars I got first. So, the first one I got was this Atlas Hopper car for Missouri Pacific, and I bought this one for, like, I bought it because I like the way it looks. I like the design of these hopper cars. And it wasn't too much, 20 bucks, and I actually got $5 off of it, so it actually came out to be 15 That's probably one of the things about my HO scale fleet, I just need to buy more cars. I feel like I have just as many engines as I do cars, because I don't have really any. So I decided to get some cars. Um, the other cars that I got, kind of run away on the table here, I got this right here which is a flat car with a tank on it. Uh, I believe it said it was an M60. And the reason I bought this is because for, for a while I've always wanted like a military train. 
So this was a perfect time to start. Uh, it's got a rotating turret, and it, and it can come off. And like I said, I believe this says was this was an M60, I believe. I'm not too sure. I have to look into it some more. And then the flat car itself also looks really cool because it's the one that has like uh, two axles or two wheel sets on each side. Let's see here. Sorry about my chair, it's kind of old, it's kind of squeaky. But, I bought this one on the first day I went, which was Saturday. And then they had another one, which I didn't plan on buying, but they still had it the next day, so I went ahead and got it. It's this one here. Uh, it's got another tank on it, this one's for Rio Grande. Uh, this one not quite as big. Uh, also has a rotating turret, and I can come off as well. And I believe it said this was a M48. I, and another reason I bought these was because I love tanks. Uh, military vehicles in general, mainly tanks. And I've always, like I said, I've always wanted some kind of military train. So that was kind of a start. And then speaking of tanks, I bought just a couple on their own. Uh, two. First, I bought this little HO scale uh, M41 Walker Bulldog pretty cool uh, this one can actually fit on the flat car so if I just take this one over here I wanted to put it on here like that and it fits uh, take it off and the other tank I bought I don't think it's a Joe scale but it was a World War II tank it caught my eye so this little M4 A3 E8 Sherman, also known as the EZ8, uh, the same one from Fury, and I believe this was actually a kit at one point. Someone put together and just decided to sell it. I don't know. Uh, that kind, of, this here, kind of makes me believe that, but I'm not too sure. So I'll set it over here, and then. The last purchase I have, which was my big purchase, was this Walters Mainline Kansas City Southern ST50. Um, I got this one primarily because there was another engine I was looking at. It was a little Atlas CSX switcher, a SW1500. But this was around the same price and it looked to be brand new. Uh, so I decided to get this one. Uh, I got it for 165, but the guy gave me 15 off, so I actually got it for 150. So uh, not too bad. I haven't. I've only taken it out once. Uh, I haven't got to run it just yet. Oh, I hit the tank. But uh, I am planning on running it this weekend, and I might actually do a little video with uh, some of my tanks and stuff over here. And I think you guys will like it. All right. So this here is my. Uh, 2021 Ed Birch Train Show Hall, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, uh, turn on the notification bell to know anytime I drop a new video, and I'll see you all down the line. Have a great day.